again, my name is Ryan Ross Smith. I'm here from the uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Um, so new methods for the digital production of moving images is a fundamental component of animated music notation, enable innovative possibilities for music composition that were impractical or inconceivable within the thousand year old tradition of static notation. I should mention that I'm using the terms animated notation and animated score as umbrella terms, covering all manner of real-time scores, generative and spontaneous interactive notation and so on. Uh, my introduction to animated notation came after years of rejecting conventional and graphic notation in favor of fixed media. I had been disappointed by the limitations of conventional notation for certain compositional concepts and the general lack of specificity in graphic notation. Animated notation immediately seemed to provide the solutions to my compositional interests in open form scoring, rhythmic complexity and specificity, legibility, playability, and electroacoustic synchronicity. Furthermore, experimentation with animated notation from the standpoint of design and functionality have led to developments in my compositional practice. Uh, my practice is focused on an exploration of these possibilities through several dozen pieces which I call studies. Each study focuses more or less on a singular design, functionality, or compositional concept. With study number eight, I was interested in developing a notational approach by which a gradual phase process and polytemporality in general could be through composed with each note specifically accounted for. So I'm just going to play a couple examples of my work and then get into the website. So each of these represents one of the players down here. Study number 31, the next piece, piece I'll play an excerpt from, is an experiment with the spontaneous generation of a radial score for seven triangles with score-derived synchronized electronics. It was of particular interest to produce a singular expression, endlessly variable, while lacking in any explicit development. Okay, and I'm currently developing, in collaboration with composer and generative artist K. Michael Fox, an animated notational framework for the spontaneous generation and presentation of a series of operas, each with a web source to generative libretto. And this is a, an example from fairly early in the project's development and demonstrates only one of the notational frameworks that we are working with. No performance yet. Yeah. 
So this version would be seven vocalists and a keyboard player. My compositional interest in animated notation over the past several years have led me to, develop, to devote my PhD research to the topic, and I've spent my coursework semesters compiling literature reviews on a variety of relevant topics, including scholarly articles, theses, software and hardware solutions, visual music, games, a variety of historical precedents, and of course, all of the animated scores that I could find. It was my feeling that in order to effectively follow some line of inquiry regarding digital media, the category that the majority of these works fall under. The media itself must be readily available. Although academic scholarships, specifically in the form of peer-reviewed journals, do provide excellent forms for discourse, the objects of analysis are often, often absent, or following Hitler, pointed to, with any critique effectively displaced from the object. As the digital humanists might say, these objects are born digital, and so it follows that their representation and method of delivery preserve this initial state. The dozen or so Excel spreadsheets I had been compiling weren't doing the trick, so to speak. This led to the development of AnimatedNotation.com, or ANDC for short. I was initially interested in developing the site as a navigable, media-rich database for my own research purposes, inspired in large part, part by composer Paule Ivan Paulson's AnimatedNotation.blogspot.com. <coughs> it's a screenshot here. Uh, as well as Manuel Lima's VisualComplexity.com. Both of these sites had effectively provided a centralized location for discourse while also providing a magnet of sorts to attract undiscovered works. In this spirit, ANDC was design, designed and built over the second half of 2013, and in the collaborative spirit of the aforementioned sites, went live in its current state, more or less, at the end of last year. ANDC has as its focus three literature reviews and their corresponding pages, composers, works, and resources. The Composers page provides a quick visual overview of primarily active or recent practitioners of animated notation. Each thumbnail clicks through to that Composers page. Each Composers page is devoted to their work and includes a single embedded score or performance, links to additional scores, performances, and writings, and in most cases a simple background statement or long-form response to a questionnaire that I sent around last year. The Works page compiles these Composers' works organized by instrumentation or ensemble size, each linking to score or performance <coughs> documentation. In addition to providing a bird's eye view of compositional practices using animated notation, this page provides a resource for those performers interested in playing these manner of works, not to mention providing composers with a variety of notational approaches toward a wide variety of instrumentation. The resources page compiles journal articles, theses, and dissertations relevant to the topic. In the spirit of Jason Freeman's Tools for Real-Time Notation article and web supplement, I've also included a variety of software solutions towards the creation of similar work. The site is rounded out by the ensembles page, featuring groups that have a vested interest in the performance of animated scores, and the forum page, which is currently a placeholder for what will be a similarly collaborative endeavor. Uh, not that statistics are terribly valuable, but ANDC currently provides information on around 100 composers utilizing these sorts of notation, with links to and embedded examples of several hundred relevant compositions. Uh, over the following year, and with the support of a recently awarded fellowship, ANDC will undergo a complete redesign, including the continued development of many of the ideas already covered. I believe that the work featured on ANDC can demonstrate a variety of powerful approaches to the integration of different art forms within a shared notational framework. So even though I have, to this point, focused primarily on musical applications of animated notation, the site will move toward a more collaborative platform, a non-codified, widely cast net with an implicit open-door policy. In other words, I intend to keep the application of animated notation toward musical endeavors the primary focus while beginning to include non-musical applications in order to fully explore the breadth of this field. As a re researcher and practitioner, I've become increasingly concerned with what solutions are available for the preservation of these works, what are the implications for those works requiring specific hardware and software, and what can ANDC offer in regard to preserving their original or intended form for future scholarly and creative research and realization. I've relied in part on the suggestions of colleagues and other practitioners to make exceptional contributions to the expansion of the site's content, 
and it is my hope that with increased visibility, the site will generate more traffic and thus improve the potential for increased content and a better picture of the field as a whole. I would also like ANDC to become a place where practitioners and writers actively share their work, be it compositional, scholarly, theoretical, and so on. And in order to, in order to facilitate this, I plan to announce general calls for work from articles to code, documentation to musings, and any other work with relevance to the field. But why? Why go through this time-consuming process for what might be just a blip on the experimental music map, a blip that has already been documented in the very theses, dissertations, articles, concerts, lectures, and workshops that ANDC compiles? In some respects, this site is simply that, compiled discourse, a platform for, di for digital dissemination. Or is it the case that ANDC, along with the aforementioned sites, are simply clearings in the web where media goes to die, or at the very least exist as a screenshot obituary? Maybe. On the other hand, it is my belief that centralizing the discourse within a focused online database leads to more than just the potential for increased awareness and content acquisition. I believe it can lead to an acceleration of practice and experimentation, powered by the increasing wealth of innovative notational design, compositional invention, and scholarly discourse. To this end, it is also important that ANDC not be curated in the art world sense of the word, but in such a way that encourages experimentation and by approaching each work as a significant entity um, a collective, malleable pic picture of the field will emerge without preemptive historicization. So in conclusion, I'd like to thank Dominique and the organization team for having me. Uh, I'm looking forward to everybody's presentations and hopefully I can have conversations with anybody that has any interest in this at all. So that's it. Thanks. Thanks.